let man's soul be a sphere, and then in this, the intelligence that moves, devotion is. And as the other spheres by being grown, subject to foreign motion, lose their own, and being by others hurried every day, scarce in a year their natural form obey. Pleasure or business, so oh, our souls admit, for their first mover and our world by it. Hence it that I am carried toward the west. This day when my soul's form bends toward the east, there I should see a sun by rising set. And by that setting endless day beget, but that Christ on this cross did rise and fall, sin had eternally benighted all, yet dare I almost be glad I do not see that spectacle of too much weight for me. Who sees God's face that is self-life must die? What a death were it then to see God die? It made his own lieutenant nature shrink. It made his footstool crack and the sun wink. Could I behold those hands which span the poles and tune all spheres at once pierced with those holes? Could I behold that endless height which is zenith to us and to our antipodes, humbled below us? Or that blood which is the seat of all our souls, if not of his, make dirt of dust, or that flesh which was worn by God for his apparel, ragged and torn. If on these things I durst not see, durst I upon his miserable mother cast mine eye, who was God's partner here and furnished thus half of that sacrifice which ransomed us, though these things as I ride be from mine eye. They are present yet unto my memory. For that looks towards them, and thou looks towards me, O Saviour, as thou hangst upon the tree. I turn my back to thee, but to receive corrections, till thy mercies bid thee leave. O oh, think of me, worth thine anger, punish me, burn off my rust and my deformity. Restore thine image so much by thy grace, that thou mayst know me, and I'll turn my face. Thank you.